Howdy ho friends, welcome or welcome back. I am Michelle and today you can see I have a little bit of a different haul for you. Still wax related, just not Scentsy. Today is pink zebra wax and if you saw my vacation hauls video, I mentioned going to a very large flea market and running into quite a few different wax vendors and that has kind of piqued my curiosity on these other wax companies. How do their warmers and their wax and their fragrances compare to Scentsy? Um, you know, and if I happen to run in a, into a scent or a warmer, I guess, that I absolutely love, then why not buy it, right? Um, I have ordered, placed, actually it's two orders, I'm going to show you all together, but uh, Pink Zebra has two different sizes of their wax. One is in jars, which come in these boxes. This is how they are shipped. And then the label on top tells you the scent. And, scent. and not only the scent name, this is something we've asked Scentsy to do, actually. That they just can't do for some reason not that it's the end of the world but it would be nice right irish coffee this is the first one i got and it says let's warm up with sweet and rich irish coffee hot coffee irish whiskey sugar and whipped cream so i'm not a huge coffee scent person but one of the samples that i got from that flea market was called coconut Fra frappe and I love it love it I'm really hoping it comes in their fall winter catalog and I will buy some anyway so I figured let's not you know ignore this scent that is currently available and it is good this is a creamy coffee scent with some Bailey's very good very nice. Uh, I'm, I'm liking this coffee scent. You know, it's not a super strong, bitter coffee. It definitely has that creaminess and that Bailey's in there. So, very nice. I like that. And in case you're wondering, these are 3.75 ounces net weight. Right? Yeah. Net weight. Um, Scentsy's net weight is 2.6 so this is more than what you would get in a bar and it is ten dollars us so <clears throat> while we're at the beginning i'll just go through all of the jars in this size that i got i did get the larger size but we'll do that last how about that next i got Fireside Vanilla. And I was kind of iffy about this one. Uh, our Fireside Vanilla fragrance is a thoughtful blend of professionally created ingredients enhanced by smoky vanilla combined with notes of bourbon, cedarwood, and patchouli. And their website. This is one thing I've always wished that Scentsy would do. Please do it if you're watching Scentsy. The website has reviews on there. One to five stars, my favorite method. Um, so you can read other people's review, whether they're good or bad. You know, everybody's different. Everybody has different preferences. But make it easy for us to get a better idea of what a scent smells like. So this one had some really good reviews. So even with that patchouli note that I know I don't care for patchouli, I gave it a shot. I got one little jar. One of the reviews said, and they are right, that this is very similar to Bath & Body Works Marshmallow Fireside. I know some say that Bonfire Beach is close, and to me it's not. It's in the same family of fragrances, I guess, but it's not close to Bath & Body Works Marshmallow Fireside. 
This is. It's not quite as sweet, but it is definitely has that sweetness and that beautiful fireside note. Mm -mm. Mm. Um, I will probably be getting the larger size in fireside vanilla. So that's that one. I'm sorry, I am talky talky today. The next one I got is fresh strawberries. And it is sun-kissed sweet strawberries fresh off the vine. Simple enough. Can you see? Can you see him? He's like hanging his head out, taking a little nappy. Okay, let's... This is a really good strawberry scent. Um, trying to think if I would consider it fresh, like an actual strawberry or slightly artificial. I think it is pretty f uh, a fresh strawberry. Um, yeah, it's not like super sweet but strawberries are sweet on their own so yeah it's it's I think it's a good strawberry um you may have noticed if you watch my videos that I don't warm Scentsy's sugar strawberry and that's because for some reason you know we all have those nemesis scents that for some reason we just can't smell them for me, it's sugar cookie and vanilla bean buttercream from Scentsy. I don't know what it is about those like vanilla scents. Sometimes it's hard for me to smell them. And for some reason, Scentsy's sugar strawberry, I don't get a whole lot of scent from it. Not as much as I want because I love strawberry scents. Um, I love those sweet fruity scents, but I don't, I'm not able to smell it for some reason. Um, so this one I can. I can smell, so that's good. We'll see how that does warm. Every time I put one of these in the box, I say I'm going talking too much, but then I talk again a lot. Next is Everyday Pine. Notes of fresh pine mixed with a little eucalyptus for all year round. If you know me, you know I love the fresh scents, so I figured why not. I did smell the scent at the... Um, flea market um there were just other scents that i wanted to try then and you know figured i'd order it later and i did and i would say this is good um the pine and eucalyptus are nice together but i can definitely definitely see where this might lean toward a cleaner type of a scent However, I know that one of my um, vendor companies that I like, Super Tarts, they have a scent that is pine and strawberry, and I love that. So, guess what I can mix to see if I like the combo. Of course, I'm going to mix this all by itself. I mean, smell, warm it all by itself, but... I'm, I'm definitely going to try that mix as well. My chair goes all over the place. Apologies. Next, I've got Morning Delight. This is a sweet burst of apple, crisp cucumber, and tangy grapefruit complemented by fresh, breezy air and jasmine. I'm sorry. I don't know what the deal is with my phone not focusing these days. I thought I fixed it. I guess not. Okay, so I tend to like apple, um, fresh breeze air type scents, and the reviews on this said this was a lovely scent. They get compliments. They love that fruit, 
like citrusy note with the freshness. So that sounds up my alley. gotta say this kind of smells light but maybe maybe it's just my nose <sighs> um I kind of get cucumber and grapefruit um yeah so I guess I could see where that's a fresh Maybe a little floral in there. Anyway, interesting. Not really what I was thinking it would be, but not that I don't like it. And then the last one I have in the jar size, and I showed you a little bit. So here's the front, side, back, and on the back, they say blend something new, sprinkles, and our Pink Zebra Signature Scented Eco-Friendly Soft Soy Wax Melts. Enjoy the aroma just as is. Or personalize sprinkles by blending one or more together to create strong and long-lasting fragrance. And then the Easy Peasy Blend. Blend two of your favorite fragrances together to keep it easy peasy. The Love It Blend. Take your blend to the next level. Sprinkle in a third fragrance. Wow. Love it. The OMG blend. Blend in a fourth fragrance. I'm in Sprinkles Heaven. OMG. Anyway, that's what it says on the back. I'm just reading it as it is. All right, last one I have is Amaretto Cream. This, I ended up ordering this because everyone, all the YouTube videos that I watched, the ladies at the, um, flea market were all talking about and loving on this scent amaretto cream <clears throat> creamy vanilla and golden amaretto and it is that that's exactly what it is it's great and maybe it's a vanilla amaretto amaretto that i can smell because i can smell this and it is it's great. I think it would blend probably with every one of these scents. Um, so I think that's kind of why they always talk about this one. It can pretty much blend with anything. But very nice. I think it would be strong. Yeah. So I have that as a blender as well. But I'm gonna I try everything by itself first. You kind of have to have a know what it is on its own before you can know what to blend it with, I guess. Okay. The next size up is net weight 16 ounces of sprinkles. 16 ounces a pound of sprinkles. I bought, and it's because I love these scents, okay? And the reason why I placed two orders is because the first time I placed an order, this one of these scents that I love was sold out. And then a week later, it was there. So I placed another one. And actually, that brings up another point. At $60 with Pink Zebra, you get free shipping. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave that right there. Okay. Pink Zebra, 16 ounces of sprinkles. Sprinkles. It's in these plastic cartons. This is what they call it. It's a carton. Um, there is a little tab here similar to other products you use in these plastic containers. You remove the tab and then you can open the lid. And there's your sprinkles. I got this in the first order. I got in Royal Blue Citrus. It's ocean waves crashing the shore mixed with notes of fresh citrus and musk. So, in the catalog, which I don't think I have in here, um, 
so this company uses a lot of American products. Um, the soybeans, all soy wax is all from America, USA. Um, and the citrus that they use in this is from a citrus farm in the U.S. Um, anyway, and I want to say a lot, one of the lines of their warmers are assembled here in the U.S. So, I like that about them, you know. The only thing I will say that I'm not super crazy about is the sprinkles idea. They could get messy just taking off the lid, you know, to this, to smell. Um, yeah, some stick to the top. What's it gonna take for them to fall off? Maybe nothing. I love this scent, guys. I love it. It's got a fresh citrus, a little bit of saltiness, which I don't always love, but here I do. Um, fresh breeze, um, um, shoreline, um, and a little bit of musk. Oh, man, I love this scent. I love it. It is really good. All right, the next one. So this is the first order. And I ordered three of the jars with that first order. The second order, when I saw that this one was back in stock, I was like, oh, yeah. I'm placing an order for that carton. I almost got two cartons, but I was like, no, 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 no. I already have three of those bags that I showed in my flea, um, flea market vacation hauls video. Definitely go check it out if you haven't. <laughs> um, anyway, I already have three of the blending bags of the scent. But when it came, when I saw it was available, yes, sir, thank you. I'm not a huge bakery food fragrance lover, but I do love pineapple, and I do absolutely love this scent. It's yellow cake layered with vanilla pudding, raw coconut flakes, and fresh pineapple slices topped with whipped cream and crushed pecan. Now, <clears throat> I don't get pecan. No pecan. All the rest of it. Yep. Um, trying to take this lid off without making a mess again. So the sprinkles. And each carton comes with a scoop. You can see the scoop in there. Ooh, I can just see myself making a huge mess. I'm trying to pull this scoop out without making a mess so I can show you. And this was outside on my porch. So these are a little sticky, right? Well, not sticky, but you know what I mean? Sweaty kind of, they did not melt. They don't melt um, in the heat, but they do kind of stick to each other. So here's the scoop. This is their, basically their serving size. They say one, two, or three scoops when you're using the cartons or if you're using the jar. I don't think I mentioned this today. If you're using the jar, the lid is basically the measuring and you do three lid worth, which is equivalent to three scoops. Anyway, all right. So this scent. I could sniff this all day long. Vanilla pudding, yes. Yellow cake, yes. Fresh pineapple, I don't know if I'd say fresh. I would say like pineapple upside down cake. That's kind of what this reminds me of, except it does have like a vanilla pudding note and a whipped cream. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. 
Um, this was, this little paper was in, come on, there we go. This little paper was in the box with the jars. And the back says, sprinkles are made from a proprietary blend of premium soft soy wax. All right, that's it. That's this um, pink zebra haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did. Or if you didn't, give me a thumbs down. I don't care. And YouTube doesn't care either. Interaction is interaction. Um, also, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, I'm always showing Scentsy and other wax related products. So subscribe and I will show up in your subscription feed with your other videos that your subscribe channels that you're subscribed to. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.